Today I'm going to show you how to give you all the amps you want for all the accessories you have. If your factory alternator has died, or you need more power for all the accessories that you're running on your Mustang, today we're going to be looking at this PowerMaster High Output Alternator. The factory alternator on the 11 to 17 Mustang only pushes about 135 amps. This new PowerMaster alternator will run about 245 amps, which is plenty for all the accessories you want to run on your Mustang. It comes in a natural or polished finish, it's a direct bolt-on, and it's made in the USA. So let's get it installed on our 2015 Mustang. First thing to remember, when messing with an alternator, always disconnect your battery first. To get to the alternator, we have to remove our air box and engine cover. So we're going to start with the engine cover, then to the intake tube. Just pull up on this engine cover, and it pops right off. Remove the hoses off the intake tube. Just push the clip in, and it slides right off. Same for this side. To remove the oil breather hose, all you do is push the gray tab and pull it out. Loosen the hose clamp off the throttle body. Then unplug the mass air sensor, pull the red safety clip out, then push it and it pulls right off. Remove the 10 millimeter bolt off the air box. Now that you have everything removed, slide it off the throttle body first, then pull up on the air box, keep it away from the bracket, then it slides right out. Now we have to remove the belt. Grab a 15 socket and loosen the tensioner to remove the belt. You're gonna get it on there and push towards the passenger side. Loosen it up. Now you can slide your belt off. There's a bolt for the alternator that's behind the tensioner, so you have to remove the tensioner. It's a 13 millimeter socket. Let's get it removed. Okay, we have to remove the two wires off the back of the alternator with a cover that slides over the power wire. What you do is you just push on it and it pops right off. Remove this nut to get the power wire off. Then to get the plug off, all you do is there's a push clip, push on it, and it'll slide right off. Now let's get the alternator unbolted. Remove the lower bolt on the alternator, the 15 socket. Remove the upper nut for the alternator. It is a 15 socket also. Now that you have the bolt and the nut removed off the alternator, all you need to do is pry between the timing cover and the alternator, and it'll slide right off. Now you can slide it off the stud. Ta-da. Now that I have the old alternator out, I like to make sure the mounting location are the same. Also, the connections are all the same. So let's get the new Power Master installed on our Mustang. Now reinstall your Power Master on that stud. Just push it in there around that hose. It'll get in there. Slide it right on. Before bolting your alternator down, you'll have to put your connections on because Power Master moved their connections closer to the frame rail to keep it away from the heat. Slide your battery terminal on. Then use the supplied washer and nut and tighten it down. Don't make it crazy tight because it is a copper terminal, so just make it nice and snug. Uh, shimmy the alternator around until you get it onto that stud. It'll take a little bit. You'll get it there. To get this alternator in place, you'll have to leave the three pin connector off, slide it into place, put your bottom bolt in, and then you can put your three pin connector in. Tighten up the top nut and the bottom bolt. Once those bolts are tight, you can move on to the tensioner. When installing your tension, there is an alignment pin that places this tension in one spot. The alignment pin will be placed in this slot. Slide your tension on, move it around a little bit until you get into that alignment pin, and then you can tighten down your bolt. Now that you have your tension to tighten down, the belt rotation goes from the top of the water pump, down the idler, around the alternator, to the crank pulley, then to the tensioner. Reinstall your air box and intake tube. Just 
slide on the throttle body. Now let's tighten up all our connections. Push all your clips back on. Tighten down the 10 millimeter bolt for your air box. Reinstall your engine cover, hook up your battery, and then your installation is complete. Now that we have this heavy duty alternator installed, we can run any accessory we want, even this cool light up horse. Give or take about 45 minutes to install. For this alternator and many other great parts, go to cjponyparts.com.